What is data collection? Data collection is the process of gathering information, facts, observations for the research purpose, and analyses. It involves systematically collecting and recording data from various sources, such as individuals, instruments, sensors, or documents, for the purpose of analyses, research, decision-making, or record-keeping. Data collection is an important step in research. Sciences, business, healthcare, social sciences, education, and other areas, as it provides the raw material on which analyses, interpretation, and informed decisions are based. Why do we need data collection? Data collection is an important aspect of modern society as it serves as the foundation for informed decision making problem-solving, and progress across several domains of learning. It provides empirical evidence that is critical to understand complex issues, whether in business, education, government, scientific research, or healthcare. Classification of data. 1. Primary data. Primary data is gathered from the primary or original source and first-hand experience. These include people, organized groups, established practices and systems, constitution and laws, non-human living organisms, man-made material things, nature objects, and phenomena. 2. Secondary data. Secondary data is gathered from secondary sources. These sources include books, published articles, manuscripts, all other secondary sources, among which are hearsays, rumors, etc. What are the different methods of data collection? Surveys and questionnaires. Surveys involve asking individuals or groups a set of structured questions. Interviews. Interviews involve one-on-one -on -one or group interactions where researchers ask questions and record responses. Observations. This method involves directly observing and recording behavior, events, or phenomena. Key steps in data collection process. 1. Define your objectives. Clearly define the research or data collection objectives. 2. Design your data collection instruments. Develop data collection instruments such as surveys, questionnaires, interview guides, or observation protocols. 3. Data collection. Conduct the actual data collection activities following your plan or protocols. Data collection flaws. 1. Using convenient sample. When the sample used for data collection is not representative of the target population, it can introduce sampling bias in the results. For example, collecting responses from easily available respondents by using convenient sampling. 2. Response bias. Individuals select an answer to a question that they are aware is incorrect, but they make this choice because they are uncomfortable reporting their honest answer. For example, have you cheated in your marriage? Follow these tips and you will decrease the flaws in your data collection. If you like this video, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.